So we've been working with people for quite a long time now. And what was really exciting is that when we started working with people who just wanted to lose belly fat, lose weight, they've been stuck in the yo-yo dieting paradigm for so long. And then we would find out that they had other things going on. Maybe they had high cholesterol or acid reflux, or they're just tired all the time, insomnia, and it's especially anxiety and depression. Because when you're not feeling great, those things are really a part of the problem. So we have people who are on medications for depression, anxiety for a long, long time, and by making simple lifestyle modification, they were able to get off of those medications and reverse those things. And then it got really exciting because we started working with people who also had cognitive dysfunction going on, memory problems. And that's when we implemented neurofeedback into some of our programs. And I specifically remember Edwin. Edwin came to us and he was in his early 80s, but he was really suffering with his memory. He was often finding himself getting into his car and he would not remember why he got into the car where he was going. So this was something he told us quite honestly, and we didn't want to make any promises that we could. We said, when you fix one thing, a lot of things improve, but let's work on all of the medications that you're on. Let's work on your diabetes. Let's work on your heart disease. And let's hope that something improves with your memory. And he also started working with neurofeedback in conjunction to making nutrition changes and detox and fitness, stress reduction, the works. And oh, he was also really depressed because he was terrified of where his health was going. He wanted to stay active, he was still married, he really wanted to enjoy his life. So, fast forward about nine months, it did take us quite a long time to really get major improvements, but he started feeling good right away. The depression started lifting, but once we really got into neurofeedback, his memory started coming back. He sat down with me one day and started telling me stories about when he was in the war and these people that he started remembering their names and their neighbors' names and things that he hadn't been able to grasp for the longest time. He was actually sitting in our waiting room one day and he saw a woman that he used to know and he remembered her name and he couldn't believe it. He said that months ago that never would have happened. He used to show up to his appointments either a day early or a day late, maybe an hour early and an hour late. And we just knew it was because Edwin didn't remember when he was supposed to be here and that stopped happening. So it's truly remarkable what doing things through lifestyle modification and using really powerful tools like neurofeedback can do for somebody's long-term life. Because we still talk to him now, he's done with the program, he's already graduated, but he still keeps in touch with us and lets us know that his memory is continuing to improve, even after making these big changes and graduating the program, and that's really what it's all about. And so that's a big passion for mine, for Dr. Dangovi, and for our whole team. There's nothing we'd rather be doing than seeing people get their life back and feeling great every day.